What's going on people? Look, we're back. We're back with a new vlog, a new day in the life and a brand new destination. So we're currently here in the Gold Coast in Australia. So I'm gonna spend the day taking you guys through a day in the life here in the Gold Coast, trading, traveling, enjoying these beautiful sea views and hopefully taking some fantastic trades and sharing it with you guys. So I've only been here for three days now and unfortunately my suitcase has been lost and I still don't have any luggage. So we haven't been off to the best start, but it feels good to be back. I was here in Australia. I was actually in the Gold Coast now, and I was up in Brisbane about three or four months ago, and I've decided to come back and explore and stay a lot longer. So looking forward to staying here. The beautiful thing about being here is the London Open doesn't open till 4 p.m. So we have all day, all morning to go explore, do some good things, drink lots of coffee, get the steps in, go for a workout before we even need to jump on the charts at around four, half four. So plan of action this morning, I've just had a coffee, but I think we need to go get another coffee. It's a beautiful day outside. So I think we're gonna go get another coffee, go for a walk on the beach and bring you guys along. But look, before we go, look at these incredible views. Look at this lovely balcony right here on Surfers Paradise. And look at these incredible, incredible buildings. And we've got the sea right there. So we're gonna go for a walk and explore. If I had my swimming costume, ooh. If I had my swimming costume, I would go for a swim in the pool downstairs. I need to go for a swim in the sea, but I'm scared I'm gonna get eaten by sharks, which is probably not the case. However, it's constantly on my mind. But when I get my case back, when I get my swim costume, we will go for a swim in the sea. I'm gonna do a lot of videos here in the Gold Coast, gonna be staying here for a while. So plenty to do, plenty to explore. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. And now let's go get some coffee. Alright guys, so we're back from the walk, had a coffee, just had some lunch, had a little lie down um, and we're just waiting for the US session to open. So it's currently 6.46 London time, so I've taken a really nice long on the NASDAQ. So as you guys can see here, we have a long position running from down here, which is running one contract, currently up $390, going to be playing this up into these highs already secured one contract. So at the moment we are sitting up a nice $315 on the day. So I'm gonna give this a little bit more time. This is pretty much a break even trade now. Playing up to these highs, but if it comes down to taking a break even, I'm not really too, too bothered because I've already secured one contract. But for now, we're gonna let this position play out a little bit more. We got the London waking up in around 15 minutes. So in 15 minutes, probably gonna jump on a live Zoom call with the community, stay on the London for one to two hours, and then gonna go get a workout in downstairs. Unfortunately, I would love to go for a swim in the pool, but like I say, I don't have my swim costume, so I cannot go for a swim. London, Zoom, gym, and then we will catch back up. So look at this, we got the laptop there. Look at this, we get to look at these beautiful views of the sea. Incredible. All right guys, so we just wrapped up the London session. It's 8.41 London time and quarter to six here with me in the Gold Coast. So let me quickly just show you guys the execution. So we ended London in profit, which is fantastic. We ended it up $1,100 in profit, which is absolutely fantastic. I'll take it, but I'm mentally drained because that was a very, very difficult trading session. I had a win rate of 52.17%. Execution was absolutely incredible, but let me show you guys the positions look. So up 1,100. I was up 2,500 of winners and then I actually took some losses trying to go short too quick and actually broke my rules and broke the plan. 50% win rate. So let me show you guys because look, these positions look wild. But fantastic longs from here, okay? And then if I just delete the executions, I tried to short too quick and I actually broke my plan. So it was a bit of a stressful morning, but... So we had this huge high here and we saw price take that out with a very, very bearish five minute candle close. Um, and I started to load up shorts here but I broke my plan because it's very, very common that when we leave these, these wicks, this is a retail trap and we come and fill it up. The reason I broke my plan is because I didn't wait for it to actually break structure. So this pushed up even higher, I took the loss, accepted the loss, it is what it is, and then what I also did then again was I had this zone, and the second we broke that, we retest, I cut the longs, I flipped the shorts, and then it moved down really, really nice. Um, and let me just pop up the screenshot so you guys can quickly see the short that I flipped. So here, we're just sharing this with community member Aiden. So look, we 
went long, it didn't work. I flipped my bias, quickly took a short, just one contract and then closed it out at $225 profit, leaving us the day at 1,100 profit. So a bit of a stressful London morning. However, we got it done. We came out on top and now to de-stress, I'm gonna stand on the balcony and look out the sea. I feel like that might help. And then we're gonna go to the gym. But look, sun's going down here, winding down for the evening. May or may not trade US um, at this rate, probably won't. That's what you have to do after a training session like that. Come out on the balcony, soak up the views and just get some fresh air. All right, let's go to the gym. Remember guys, before we go to the gym, trading in this day and age, people are so focused on capital, okay? They just want more capital. They think more capital is gonna solve all their problems. But remember, in trading, you have two types of capital, okay? You have monetary capital and you also have mental capital. Not many retail traders are focusing on the mental capital side of things. You really, really, really have to prioritize your mental state, okay? So for me, that's meditating, walking, reading, exercising, doing all these things off the charts are gonna massively change your game. Unless you guys actually start doing them, then that's only when you'll learn. So right now I'm feeling a little bit drained, a little bit mentally fatigued. I could easily just sit on the laptop and try force more trades and force more things. However, we've ended the day green. I know what I like to do, de-stress, that's workout. So we're gonna go for a workout and then we're gonna come back, eat some food and just unwind for the evening. But until you guys start implementing these things, you will thank me once you start doing them. Trust me, they will really, really help your game. So enough of the ramble, gym time. Workout is complete. You're gonna sit here, down the shake and unwind for the evening. Probably won't jump on the laptop for the US session. Um, don't really need to. London provided enough opportunity where I don't need to sit there for the rest of the evening and just sit on the laptop for the sake of it. So pretty much gonna sit here, have this and have some dinner and just chill out. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. If you guys are new to the channel, please do leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff because I'll be doing a lot more videos like this here in the Gold Coast and potentially all over Australia, depending on where we go. So I hope to catch you all in the next one. And for now, peace. Yeah.